China's aerospace industry has unveiled an ambitious goal to develop a world-leading strategic transport aircraft for the People's Liberation Army Air Force, or PLAAF. This new program, which is currently in its conceptual phase, represents a significant leap forward in China's military modernization efforts. The aim here isn't just to build a larger plane, but really to revolutionize the nation's logistical capabilities, giving it a truly global operational reach. This development follows a period of rapid advancement, including the recent debut of the engine-upgraded Y-20B transport in September 2025 and the expansion of the YY-20 aerial tanker fleet. These advancements have already extended the combat radius of China's air assets. So, this new aircraft is really the next logical step in that progression. But, you know, this initiative is about more than just transporting troops and equipment. It's a clear signal of China's intent to project power far beyond its borders. A fleet of such massive aircraft would enable the PLAF to rapidly deploy significant military forces, humanitarian aid, or other strategic assets to, well, almost any point on the globe. This capability is absolutely crucial for a nation seeking to protect its expanding global interests, from infrastructure projects to its citizens abroad. The development also complements other long-range platforms currently in the pipeline, like the H-20 Intercontinental Strategic Bomber, creating a comprehensive network of assets designed for long-distance operations far from the Chinese mainland. The announcement of this program comes at a time when China is actively demonstrating its growing long-range capabilities. For instance, the deployment of H-6 bombers off the coast of Alaska in July 2024, which actually required interception by American fighters, really highlighted the PLF's increasing confidence in operating at extended distances. The new transport aircraft would serve as the backbone for supporting such missions ensuring that deployed forces have the necessary supplies, vehicles, and personnel to sustain operations. It would provide the logistical muscle to match the military's growing strategic aspirations, transforming how China plans and executes missions far from home. The vision for this aircraft is built upon years of steady progress in China's domestic aviation sector. The successful development and production of the Y-20 transport, nicknamed Chubby Girl, provided valuable experience and laid the technological groundwork for more ambitious projects. The Y-20 is already the largest military transport aircraft currently in production anywhere in the world, which is a pretty notable achievement, especially since production of its American and Russian counterparts, the C-5 and An-124, ended years ago. This new concept aircraft is designed to build upon that success, pushing the boundaries of what is possible in military airlift and cementing China's position as a major player in aerospace technology. At the heart of China's new transport concept is a radical design known as the Blended Wing Body, or BWB. This innovative configuration marks a dramatic departure from the conventional tube and wing shape seen on nearly all current transport planes, including China's own Y-20 and the American C-5 Galaxy. In a BWB aircraft, the fuselage and the wings aren't really separate components, but are instead seamlessly merged into a single continuous lifting surface. This creates a flattened, wide airframe that looks more like a futuristic flying wing than a traditional airplane, offering unique aerodynamic advantages and a massive internal volume. The primary benefit of the BWB design is its exceptional aerodynamic efficiency. By eliminating the hard angles where wings meet the fuselage, the design significantly reduces drag, which is basically the force that resists an aircraft's motion through the air. Less drag means the aircraft requires less thrust from its engines to maintain flight, leading to substantial improvements in fuel efficiency and overall range. This efficiency is critical for a strategic transport designed for intercontinental missions, as it allows the aircraft to fly farther with a heavy payload, and all that without the need for mid-air refueling, which is a complex and often risky maneuver, especially in contested airspace. Beyond its aerodynamic advantages, the blended wing body configuration offers an enormous internal space for carrying cargo. 
the wide open interior of a BWB airframe is less constrained than the cylindrical fuselage of a conventional transport. This allows for the transportation of oversized and irregularly shaped cargo that might not fit in existing aircraft. It also provides greater flexibility in how cargo and personnel can be arranged, potentially allowing for double-decker configurations or the simultaneous transport of large vehicles and troops. This vast internal volume is a key reason why the BWB concept is so appealing for a mega transport role. Achieving the performance goals of this ambitious design will depend heavily on advancements in other key technologies, particularly in propulsion. The aircraft will require new, highly sophisticated engines that are more powerful and efficient than those currently used on any of China's existing transport planes. The successful integration of these advanced engines with the novel BWB airframe will be a major engineering challenge. Furthermore, the design is expected to incorporate an improved ability to operate from austere and unprepared runways, adding another layer of complexity but, you know, greatly increasing its operational flexibility in a variety of global scenarios. When placed alongside existing heavy lift transports, the projected specifications for China's new aircraft are truly impressive. The concept calls for a cargo capacity of approximately 120 tons. This figure nearly doubles the 66-ton payload of China's current workhorse, the Y-20. More significantly, it places the new aircraft in the same elite class as the United States Air Force's largest strategic airlifter the C-5M Super Galaxy, which has a maximum payload capacity of around 127 tons. This leap in carrying capacity would allow the PLF to move heavy main battle tanks, large artillery systems, and other bulky military hardware in a single flight. The advantages become even more pronounced when examining the aircraft's projected range. With a full payload of 120 tons, the new transport is designed to have a range of approximately 6,500 kilometers. This represents a substantial improvement over both the Y-20, which can travel about 4,500 kilometers with its maximum load, and the American C-5 Galaxy, which has a range of about 4,150 kilometers under similar conditions. This extended range is a real game-changer enabling non-stop intercontinental flights from mainland China to locations in Africa, Europe, and across the Pacific, thus reducing reliance on refueling stops in potentially unfriendly territories. The sheer size of the proposed aircraft is another key differentiator. To accommodate its massive payload and fuel load, the new transport is expected to have a maximum takeoff weight approaching 470 tons. This is a colossal figure, dwarfing the Y-20's maximum takeoff weight of roughly 250 tons. Such a massive airframe presents significant design and manufacturing challenges, but it's a necessary requirement for achieving the desired combination of payload and range. This scale puts the aircraft firmly in the Super Heavy category, a domain occupied by only a handful of aircraft designs in history and really underscores the magnitude of China's ambition. These numbers collectively illustrate a clear strategic intent to develop an aircraft that can move more material, farther and faster than almost anything flying today. While the Y-20 represented a major step forward for China's airlift capabilities, it still operated in a class below the top-tier American and Russian heavy lifters. This new concept aircraft is designed to skip a generation, aiming not just to match but, in some respects, to exceed the performance of the most capable strategic transports currently in service with any nation, fundamentally altering the global logistics landscape. The development of a mega transport with such advanced capabilities would profoundly impact China's military strategy. A fleet of these aircraft would provide the PLF with the ability to rapidly project and sustain power on a global scale a capability that has long been a hallmark of American military strength. It would enable the swift deployment of a combined arms brigade, complete with its heavy armor and support vehicles, to a crisis zone thousands of kilometers away. This capacity is essential for protecting China's growing overseas interests, responding to international crises, 
or conducting large-scale humanitarian assistance and disaster relief operations far from its shores. Following the precedent set by the versatile Y-20 platform, which was successfully adapted into the YY-20 aerial tanker and the KJ-3000 airborne warning and control system, it is highly probable that the new BWB aircraft would also serve as a basis for specialist variants. A high-endurance tanker version could be particularly valuable, capable of supporting combat operations far beyond the second island chain, by refueling formations of J-20 fighters and H-20 bombers. An AEW and C variant would offer unparalleled on-station time, providing persistent surveillance and command and control over vast areas of ocean or contested territory. Beyond its military applications, the aircraft could also have a significant secondary function in the civilian world. A civilian cargo version could compete in the global market for oversized freight, similar to the role once played by the Soviet AN-124. This dual-use potential would justify a larger production run, helping to lower per-unit costs and keep the manufacturing lines active. Furthermore, China might offer the aircraft for export, presenting a compelling option for nations seeking heavy lift capabilities, including partners like Russia, should its own next-generation transport programs face delays or prove too costly. Finally, it's important to note that China is not alone in pursuing next-generation airlift technology. The United States and Russia are also in the early stages of exploring successors to their aging C-5 Galaxy and AN-124 fleets. The global strategic landscape is shifting, and the ability to rapidly move massive amounts of personnel and materiel across continents is once again becoming a major focus for world powers. China's ambitious blended wing body concept is a bold entry into this emerging competition, signaling its determination to be at the forefront of military aviation technology for decades to come.